Hi everyone, my name is Robert Mwanda and this is Edify. Today I speak to you on the subject of finding value. The most important thing I learned from my father was telling the truth. Often this lesson was delivered in the most undesirable ways. Partly because I always found myself on the wrong side of the acceptable code of conduct. So it was often corrective. The most valuable thing a parent can pass to his or her children is discipline. In the previous episode of Edify, I expounded about discipline. Today I address the subject of finding value. Lately, I have been thinking about money quite a lot. I started to read books, listen to speakers address the subject of money. Let me spare you the details for another day. However, we think about and toil hard chasing and amassing money because we attach value to it. Basically, what we value, we make time for. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. It is a fact that treasure is not tossed about everywhere. You've got to dig deep to find treasure. The greatest treasures are those invisible to the eye but, but found by the heart. The same goes for value. Don't let your eyes lie to you. Not all that glitters is gold. In this generation Z, the generation of Zoomers, where information sharing and flow has greatly been enhanced by technological advancements, humans in the first place have created for themselves wider platforms where they seek approval and acceptance. Every human was created with a divine desire for connection, to be loved and to love, to feel accepted. We all find value when we are accepted. This quest for acceptance and finding value has greatly changed in a landscape where people could cross geographical boundaries with ease and break social cultural barriers to find acceptance elsewhere. Our web pages are awash with what we think will win us the coveted prize, acceptance. We try to put on our best show, photos, experiences, icons and all just to feel connected to something significant. Research has shown that social media plays a central role in how teens measure self-worth. Celebrity and public figure status these days is not measured by the number of publications or the magnitude of causes you have championed, but rather by the number of followers, likes, views, and comments received on the social media platforms. I tell you the truth, your value is not in the many likes or dislikes, neither is it in the number of views comments or retweets you receive. Your true value is finding who God created you to be. And when you do, you will burst into song with a praise. Hannah did, David did, Leah, after giving birth to Judah said, this time I will praise the Lord. And Mary said, my soul glorifies the Lord and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. One common thing about these four Bible characters was that they all once faced rejection. But in the Lord, they were accepted. Hallelujah. Our scripture for reflection on Edify today is Matthew chapter 6, verse 26 and Matthew chapter 10, verse 31. In the English Standard Version, it says, Look at the birds of the air. They neither sow nor reap nor gather into barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not more of value than they? Fear not, therefore, you are of more value than many sparrows. God bless you.